Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to show you how to download Windows 10 Enterprise which is very cool for techs or anybody who wants to keep a backup ISO of the latest Enterprise Edition. In addition to that you will also get the Education Professional the N and KM, which is Europe and Korean versions without the media player. So you'll have all that in one big ISO. First thing you want to do is follow this link right here, which is the Windows 10 media creation tool. Go ahead and download the version that you need. And then we're going to open PowerShell. Use your Windows key plus X. And let's do PowerShell as admin. Click yes on the user control prompt, user account control. Now we have two lines here you'll notice that we're going to use to actually get this to work. But before we do that, if you're not familiar with PowerShell or the command prompt, you need to know where you save the file. So you can do CD backslash, for example, and then type DIR to see where you are. So I know that I'm in the user's major geek, so I could actually type the whole thing out. CD backslash users backslash major geeks backslash desktop. But just to show you briefly, so we know we're here, so let's do CD space users. And once again, you can list to see where you're at. CD space major geeks, DIR. And as you can see, there's my desktop, so CD space desktop. No big deal, just for those who haven't done it. So now you know you're in the right location with the media creation tool 1909 in this case. So you'll notice a lot of times a PowerShell, you get an error trying to run these, but just go ahead and highlight that. Odds are you'll need this one with the period backslash in it. Let's see if I can get away with it. Yeah, so here's the error you get right here. Doesn't it exist, can't run it. If you trust it, use the period backslash. So go ahead and highlight this. You might even want to just do that right out of the gate, save yourself the trouble. And let's do that. Press enter. And here comes the media creation tool. Now from here, I think I've got the video embedded and how to use it, but I don't think you need our help. You're basically going to enter your product key when it gets ready. And then I have another video here on how to create a flash drive. It's very similar, but I don't think you need our help going forward from here because you pretty much just follow the prompts. Now, there are a couple other things to consider. And I believe I mentioned them down here. Where did I put it? Right here. So is this thing popped up? Still going. Take note. If you have 32-bit version, you're interested in it, look at your code right here, and you're gonna have to change this to X. Is it X? What was it? X86. And that'll get you the 32-bit. If you're not English US, you can change this to whatever language you currently have. For example, if you're in the UK, you could change the EN-US to EN-GB. So those are the only two changes you'll need to make in the code. But if you're using 64-bit English, this will work for you right here just about every time. So give that a shot. Now, as you can see, this is where you need to enter your product key. And once you do that, it will begin to download the ISO for you. And you'll be all set and good to go. Pretty neat little trick, easy way to get the Enterprise Edition, as always. Down here in the corner, as you know, here's our logo. You click that, you can subscribe and click like and whatever you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching, as always. See you.